Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here with the Old Family Channel, and today I want to show you guys how to make your subtitles pop in your videos and how much of a crucial thing subtitles are. Now, on social media, you've seen loads of videos have subtitles, and it's kind of a thing now. You can't just watch a video without subtitles on. The jokes are funnier with the subtitles, and the videos feel more colorful. <laughs> We're gonna head into Premiere Pro and I'm gonna start simple, like dead simple, and then get more complicated as we go along. So, let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go super simple, just generate subtitles. And Premiere just makes it super easy to do. All you have to do is go up to your text window. And if you've got any of the latest versions of Premiere, it automatically does it because you can just edit the text and that will chop up the video, but that's for another video. And all you have to do is press on the three dots and create captions, go to the drop down menu. And these are the settings I use generally for subtitles, especially for social media and stuff. I like to have them like super tight and create the captions. And in seconds, everything's done. Now it gives you this default kind of font, which I do not like. So go up to your essential graphics and we're gonna change this up a bit. So let's go with a nice chunky font and I like stuff in the middle at least to start off with let's increase that a bit and that's the first step done this is what it looks like in this video I want to show you guys a few audio solutions that might help you out so it's really accurate and I'd be happy posting this if you wanted to change fonts or colors to select everything and go in here and select whatever colors you want Maybe you want like a bright yellow or something. Add a stroke. Yeah, we'll go for like a black one. Change the stroke width if you need to. What I like about Premiere and doing the subtitles is super quick, but you've got absolute control for everything you need to do. Now, if I wanted to go in and change some of the words and do that Alex Mosey style type thing, you can go in and let's go into this part right here where I say your phone. With your phone. And what I like to do is Press Shift S and that will enable the scrubbing so you can hear little remix. But that way you can be really precise where you put your subtitles. So, all right, right there, I'm gonna chop that up. And what I'll do here is when I say phone, one of two things. Now I can go in and highlight the individual word and either change the color, size, you can do a bunch of stuff that you wanna do. When I say phone, I'm gonna make it change the style. So I can turn that into like, Let's go with red. I can change the actual outline. With your phone. All right, so you can do a bunch of stuff like that. What I can do is I like doing the other one where if the cadence of the phrasing is moving a bit too fast, I'm gonna make the word phone disappear from here. And the reason I, I'm using the same subtitle is because I wanna have the same distances in the words. So it's kind of easier to read. So. I deselect those, so the word phone is technically there, but it just doesn't have a fill and a stroke. So when we play it back, same with your phone, with your phone, it's easier to read that way. As you can see, you can go through the whole thing and it's super easy to do, and you've got absolute control. A lot of the apps give you the subtitles and it is what it is, but I find doing it this way, you've got control over everything you want to do. Now, if we wanted to add animations to all the text, this is super easy as well. I'm gonna select all the text. I'm gonna copy that, go to the start, select all the text, and then go up to graphics and titles and upgrade caption to graphic. Now, here we can start animating our text and making it a bit more uh, animated. <laughs> I'm gonna paste my subtitles there. For some reason, it just upgrades it without making a copy, but I like having a copy just in case I need a backup. And right here, I've got the same text, same place, same stroke, same fill. With Premiere, sometimes you have to go through the text. It does need a bit of proofreading. It is easy to edit, if I'm honest. Now, all you have to do for animating stuff is either download our social media creator kit and literally you highlight everything, go down to your preset, and let's go with the Mr. Beast special. Drag that on and this is what it looks like. In this video, I wanna show you guys a few audio solutions that might help you out. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do those as well. I'm gonna Command Z and undo everything. Now I'm just gonna go with the first one. And for the most part, I mean, you do have 
40 animations and I keep updating these. So if you do end up getting the social media creator kit, all the updates are free. But let me show you how to make a really simple one. Now I'm gonna go into my effects and look for the transform tool. And I'm just gonna add it onto my first subtitle there. I'm gonna go into my effects control and down where the transform tool is, I'm just gonna add some simple animations. Let's go with starting at 50% and then moving maybe to the end of that. Let's go to 100%. All right, I'm gonna move that up to the end and you get a really simple animation. And to add a bit of blur, we're just gonna go and tick this box. Let's go to 200. And the amount of blur is to do with this number right here. So I'm just gonna add 200, right? So you can kind of see a quick animation there. And the thing with subtitles is you don't want them to be extreme. Now we can go into Mogurts and I highly recommend you guys to check out the Lyric Video Pack, which has got some crazy, crazy good animations. But with subtitles, I find that you want something quick, easy to read. And this is what you get with the presets available in the kit, like super easy to do. I've made a simple animation right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that transform tool, copy paste that, and I'm gonna select all my animations and I'm simply gonna paste that and you get something like this. In this video, I wanna show you guys a few audio solutions that might help you out. So as a bit of movement, let me show you some of my favorites from the actual kit. I'm selecting all the titles. I'm just gonna drag and drop a preset. Let's add, let's add the scaling. In this video, I wanna show you guys a few audio solutions. In this video, I wanna show you guys a few audio solutions that might help you out. And the cool thing is you can combine effects. Now I'm gonna add the Mr. Beast-esque animation and then go with the curve in and add that there as well. In this video, I wanna show you guys a few audio solutions that might help you out. Now, depending on what you're saying, you can add some more animations. Now when it says 10X, I'm gonna add a shake and probably go into my size and increase the size as well. Pros, which are like 10 times the price. What you can do as well, if you wanted to just get rid of all your animations, is highlight your text, right click, and then remove attributes. And then you can just remove all the attributes there. And then you go back to your normal, just like jump cut text. And with how flexible this is, sometimes I like keeping the stroke, but not having the fill. So for example, right here, it's a YouTuber content creator favorite. All right, so I've split up the words. So when it says YouTuber, obviously it comes up, but for content creator, I'm just gonna take the fill out. So you can kind of see there's something there, but you don't see the words until they're said. And this is what it looks like. Here's a YouTuber content creator favorite. The if you wanted to add pictures in there, obviously you can go in, just go to Google, find some images. This one looks quite cool. All I'm gonna do is drag that onto my files. Make a new folder because we want to keep stuff organized. Drag that into Premiere Pro. The YouTuber content creator favorite, the Rode Wireless Go. All right, so when that comes in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize that. But to add a little bit of animation in there, I'm going to drag in one of those presets. Rode Wireless Go. And then at the end of it, chop that out. And then I've got a stagger scale out one. The Rode Wireless Go. And it's super easy, you just drag and drop animations and it just makes things more colorful. <laughs> so there you have it, go make your subtitles look dope. Till next time, peace.